Hi everybody! Welcome! It's your local Facebook live stylist, Trisha Cromwell. And as you can see, well one, I have a mint in my mouth. So sorry, I'm gonna chew that now. Um, and two, I'm on location again. So I got awesome feedback from my TJ Maxx video, and now I'm feeling like 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 slightly more gutsy, like this much more gutsy, to go into some more stores. So if you look around, I am in Nordstrom at the Providence Place Mall. So I just actually spent all day in a mastermind meeting with my business coach, Jeannie Spiro. She is amazing. That group of almost 20 women that I've just spent the last two days with has inspired me like I can't even explain. Like you just don't understand the power of a tribe and mentorship and just being given clear direction and the knowledge and experience that these women have are amazing and is helping me so much in my business. So I am like extra pumped and energized from leaving um, Hotel Providence where we had our meeting and I was wondering what to do about my Facebook Live this week, what topic. So I asked on Facebook as usual and Frank said he wanted me to talk about spring shoes. So why wouldn't I? I mean, their shoes, right? It's everyone's favorite thing. I know it's definitely one of mine. So I decided, hmm, I'm already in Providence. I'm downtown. There's a mall super close, and there is a fabulous shoe department in Nordstrom's. So that's where I came, and I set up shop just now. And it's funny because this mall is actually really nostalgic for me. So I went to Johnson & Wales like 1,000 years ago. Not really, I graduated in 2000, but that's like kind of 1,000 years ago, right? So when I was going to Johnson & Wales, and I lived downtown at McNulty Dorm, which is like less than a mile away from here, I remember when they were building the mall and they were going to open it, right? And I'm like, oh my, this is like a dream come true. You have to be kidding me that where I chose to go to college, they're building a three-story mall like less than a mile away. This is insane. I'm just destined to be a fashion stylist, right? That's not what I said because I didn't know at the time. However, I knew I was destined to be a retail customer and that I was. <laughs> so I came here a lot. So it's always nostalgic for me to come back. Um, I really love this mall. First of all, for the f restaurants, like the places to eat in this mall are amaze balls. The variety and just the quality, and you know, there are so many options. Even if you come here for dinner, and then there's like Dave and Buster's, so it's just a fun place to shop, hang out, and kind of come with your family or with your friends. Um, some of my favorite places to shop here okay, there are so many, right? So, obviously, Nordstrom, that's where I'm, I am right now. And if you're in the Rhode Island area, this is kind of like the, this is the closest one to you. So this is a great way to come into, you know, be able to check out Nordstrom is at the Providence Place Mall. The other anchor department store in this mall is Macy's. And it's actually not my favorite. If you're in the Rhode Island area, I find that the Warwick Macy's gets a lot more stuff, a lot more variety and a lot more sizes. So it's actually not my favorite. Um, and if you can get to Braintree, the South Shore Plaza, that's my absolute all-time, like, favorite Macy's. And then as far as kind of just the other specialty and chain stores, so there is a DSW here. Love that store. I'm actually wearing DSW boots today, and I'll, I'll probably go um, stand in a mirror and show you those, but DSW. I'm lucky for jeans, because I love lucky jeans. The Michael Kors store here, one of my favorites, um, and Taylor and Banana Republic always for wardrobe staples lucky I love for the jeans Michael Kors I just love for the purses and wallets and, and leather goods and shoes um, I remember the guest store was my favorite when I was in college and that was like the big draw that got me here because there wasn't really anywhere else to buy guest clothing so that used to be one of my favorite stores forever 21 was also one of my favorites when I was in college and actually at that age but now I need to shop at more like forever 37 so I'm not going in forever 21 quite as much but if you are looking for like inexpensive trendy pieces or jewelry such a good place to go um H&M there's a really good H&M store here and Zara which I also love and those are not everywhere in the New England area so it's a good place to be able to come here and check out Zara too what I want to get to today is to talk about spring shoes because that is what Facebook told me they wanted me to talk about. And remember, I do this every Tuesday. So whatever you want me to discuss, uh, whatever f store you want me to go to and look like an absolute fool, I'm down. 
I got you. I'll do it for you. <laughs> so I'm here to talk about shoes. Um, spring shoes, obviously, because now that we're starting to shop and we're obviously all thinking about warmer weather, right? As it's snowing right now in Providence. Um, kind of thinking about what we're going to start buying, what our looks are going to be for the spring and in the warmer months. And I've come up with three. So three of my very favorite spring trends for shoes. And they actually have them represented here at Nordstrom. So I'm going to show you those. And just to give you an idea of what I do with my clients. So this is kind of like a taste, right, of what I do. I go shopping with people. I go through your wardrobe. I make sure you have all the items that you need, that everything fits you correctly. And then we go shopping to pick up those key pieces to kind of fill in the gaps of your wardrobe or get any of the investment pieces I recommend or even the trendy pieces, colors that look great on you, right? So some people shopping is like a dreadful, god-awful, anxious experience, okay? So what I do when I go shopping with my clients is that I pre-shop. And I actually, all I scout out the stores for you so I can really narrow down what you need, what stores have it, where we should go, and then sometimes I even pull the product for you, right? So shopping alone, you're in the mall carrying your bags and your purse and probably like your coffee because there's a Dunkin' Donuts in every mall, right? There's a Starbucks here, also one of my favorites. I digress. You know, you're walking past storefronts. Do you want to go in? Do the mannequins look appealing? Do the sales associates look like they're remotely approachable? Does this look like your style? Where do you shop? Then you have to try things on, Ugh, right? Okay, so shopping with me, and this is a great example, I go in beforehand, I scout the stores for you, I pull the product I think you should have, and get the dressing room all, all, all ready for you, right? So what we're doing right now, I'm showing you the top three spring shoe trends. When we shop together, I've got those things pulled. I know exactly what store to go to, what department to go to, and what item I'm gonna show you, right? So it's like a little taste, plus you guys are getting kind of an inside peek of what shoes you should be buying. So, first, well first, I'm gonna see if I can turn the camera, right? So I'm walking to this mirror, can I turn the camera? Oh, I did it, okay, hi peeps. This is me. So this is kind of my look, these are my boots that I freaking love, I've been wearing them so much. <laughs> all winter right so now it's kind of time to switch gears and think about what we're gonna see next so I'll tell you the first thing and one of my first like favorite trends are booties okay so let me I'm actually gonna turn the camera around I'm new to this bear with me okay can you even handle this booty right so booties are not going anywhere even though we tend to think you know boot season is gone the booties with the cutouts some mesh detail peep toe these are not going anywhere okay even something like this style here a little bit of a chunky heel suede and we have the peep toe so as you can see I'm kind of looking at an entire table of booties how sick are these right so they're a little mesh so they can transition into the warmer weather but what I really love about these, I'm gonna turn on my, my lovely face again. So what I love about the fact that booties are not going anywhere is that you can buy them right now and you can get them right now. That makes it a really smart shopping choice because you buy a booty now, you can wear it now. You can wear it with, and there was actually a pair. What is this, another pair that I saw? Cause like I said, I've been all up and through this department, right? Okay, so these Sam, Edelman. Like, this is a me shoe. Oh, they got all day. I rock this with my outfit today, right? The grommets, the cutout, super cute. Like, a heel that you can actually function in all day. Suede, pointy toe, so it's flattering. So, this is something that you would get right now, and you could wear this with a dress or a skirt and like black tights to winterize it. You can wear this with jeans. But then, come spring, you can throw this on with a skirt or shorts or some white jeans rolled up. So a great item to get now that you'll be able to carry over into the next season. Thus being a great investment and I'm justifying your shopping. <laughs> so the next, the next trend, I don't know if you guys are familiar or have seen metallics, right? So metallics have been huge. They were like huge for fall and winter on the runways. As you can see, this is a shiny a great like pewter color which really like goes with everything what I love about this is that you can take the most basic silhouette I mean this otherwise if this was black it's a pretty 
practical kind of standard shoe but then you give it some shimmer and then that's what really brightens it up it's telling me my connection is weak so I'm gonna try to move because I have another one to show you which is this one here the door says so it's a little sexier and it shows a little bit more of the top of your foot but again you're getting that metallic pop so it's a play on your kind of classic silhouette but then yeah it can add a real pop and then lastly for spring trends what I wanted to show you are these I'm gonna flip the camera and it's just your basic pump everyone needs a nude pump okay ah, like this shoe is just simply amazing it's so flattering and it kind of matches everything right and then of course your basic black so I remember and like can you guys let me know by the way how Danny pick you up a Louis Vuitt yeah I'm on top of that buddy <laughs> I'll give it to you next time I see you bro um now I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, right. So this like switching camera back and forth. Is it like making you guys dizzy? Because I don't know. I'm like new to this. So let me know in the comments or when you like call me and text me later. If me switching from like front facing to back facing was like dizzying or confusing or whatever. Because I have no idea. Um, But back to the shoes that I just showed you. Kind of the basic pump silhouette, right? So I remember. And this lighting is so garbage. Okay. So I remember, thank you, Frank. See, I'm delivering for you, so I am so glad you are paying attention. Thank you. Um, I remember probably like, gosh, I don't know if it was 2011, I don't know, an, a fashion editor from the Boston Herald called me and wanted to interview me about shoes. Oh, yes, please, right? So I got on the phone with her to do this interview, and it's about the classic pump um, re-emerging and if it's still in style and I was kind of puzzled because I'm like wait what the classic pump is classic for a reason like it never went out of style of course it is in style so and that's the shoe that I just showed you and I'll pick it up again but heel heights change colors change toe boxes change or they vary slightly but that silhouette is a classic it's a go-to and it kind of like Ralph Lauren says I don't want to be in fashion because then that means I'll be out of fashion it's one of my favorite fashion quotes by the way um, that's kind of how I think about that shoe right because it's always sexy it's always dressy it's always polished you can have a chunky or skinny heel you know whatever heel height you feel is um, you know best for you and your job or whenever you're on your feet your body obviously but you can kind of mix up the colors and the silhouettes and, and you can make your outfit or your accessories pop as long as you have that basic shoe, right? So I'm going to show you one more time. It says my connection is weak. I hope you all can see me. Um, so this is the basic, right? Just the very basic, but a go-to and they are not going anywhere for spring. Again, metallic. And you're probably seeing these everywhere right now because people are wearing them now in flats, like in Oxfords or in a flat shoe, but a metallic silver or bronze or gunmetal, which is like super trendy, right? And then lastly, like I said, our booties. Booties are not going anywhere, right? With these fun cutouts or mesh or peep toe, sling back. So those are my three must have actually attainable right now styles that you can wear now buy now and then take them into the next season so if you're doing any spring shopping or you're kind of wondering what else you should have in your spring footwear wardrobe I just gave them to you and thank you to Nordstrom for letting me do that and the, the shoe department staff who's looking at me like I'm bananas <laughs> but I actually asked first this time because in the TJ Maxx one that I did last week or two weeks ago I didn't ask because I was all scared so this time I actually asked so that's why I'm talking a little more confidently because I'm not as afraid of getting arrested on Facebook live right because I got permission but thank you to all of them um Frank chunky heels still great for spring yeah what yeah let me, did you just see what I picked up let me show you again right I'm standing at one table this Vince Camuto table chunky heel pick up another one chunky heel um, this is a fun chunky heel a little more 
of a funky one chunky heel I mean yeah chunky's not going anywhere and again that's really why I picked the booty and the pump as two of my favorites right because they are diverse enough and different enough that if you have them both in your wardrobe you're not repeating or feeling like you're going crazy buying too many shoes that you don't need because we always need all the shoes that we buy of course um, but it just really depends you know if you are dressing up for the office every day and I love you too if you're dressing up for the office every day and it takes you know a really polished look and a pump to go with your suit that's perfect and then on the weekends you want to throw on a flannel or a button-down and some jeans that's when you can pick up kind of a, a chunkier heel or a funkier boot and that could be your casual look but in lieu of sneakers and yoga pants right so you're not just throwing on something way too casual for the weekends just because you dressed up so much for the weekdays and that's that's a, an issue that a lot of my clients have oh Danny how about some ideas for men you know what that's a good idea and I actually when I pulled on Facebook asking what I should talk about someone said um, men's socks and accessories and now you're saying men's shoes so I think within the next two weeks either next Tuesday or the Tuesday after I think I'm gonna do a men's special so I apologize I'm not touching on it now I can't show you that I'm like adjacent to the men's department right so like here's the men's stuff but that's just a tease because I'll talk about men's another time today it's all about the ladies it's all about the shoes and what you should buy it's all about Nordstrom for being friggin awesome for letting me do this here and um, like I said I do this every Tuesday so let me know any other ideas a girl's eye for the straight guy I got you bruh <laughs> you know it <laughs> Um, so let me know if you um, have any other ideas, anything for me to talk about. And then also, I just want to let you guys know what I do with these videos. So every Tuesday, right, I'm filming a Facebook Live. So I then upload that onto my YouTube channel because I'm getting like a ton of views on Facebook and it's so amazing and fun to see the activity. But as you know, Facebook and social media is like this and, you know, you're hot for like two seconds and then you're gone. So because I love these videos and I'm not about to walk into a store and talk to my phone and make a fool of myself for nothing for two seconds, right? I'm saving these and I'm archiving them on my own. So I put them on my YouTube channel and then I also am able to take that video link and upload it onto my blog on my website. So if you want to see any of the past episodes, like especially the TJ Maxx one, I'm getting such good feedback about that, then you can go on itrustandtrisha.com under my blog section and you can catch up on any of those and then also comment and let me know um, what else you guys would like to see and if you at home you're kind of excited about shopping for spring but you're not exactly sure if the shoes you have will still fit or still kind of work in for trend or you know you have a certain job and you don't know if they're appropriate and you just really want some shopping guidance guys that's what I am here for right so again go onto my website itrustandtrisha.com and you can click on the work with Trisha tab and set up a free call where I'll just get on with you one on one we'll talk about your style needs what's coming up for spring what you're struggling with now if you still need winter pieces but you find all the stores are transitioning you don't know where to get them or you're planning a vacation you're kind of looking forward to what you're gonna pack and what you're gonna wear Let's have a conversation about it, right? Because I love to hear from you guys and I love to be able to kind of help out and give advice. This is my thing, peeps. So thanks so much for tuning in. Trisha Cromwell, I'm signing out. I'll see you all next Tuesday.